that has been presented to us is a package that focuses on some priorities that I think will actually hurt our economy as much as it would improve our economy. One in particular is the issue of raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour. I will say that I've been talking to businesses around the country and specifically at home. The one thing that even the Congressional Budget Office recognizes is that by increasing the minimum wage to uh, $15 an hour, it could shutter somewhere around 3.7 million jobs on the high end, a minimum of 1.3 million jobs in our economy. And the last thing this economy needs as we attempt to recover is a loss of 1.3 to 3.7 million jobs. But in addition to that, it would increase the cost of doing business uh, significantly. It would certainly devastate the opportunity to develop new jobs in rural America and in rural South Carolina, as well as for those minorities and women coming into the workforce, it would actually have a disproportionate impact on those folks that you said in your testimony you want to target for relief and opportunity. Uh, said differently, over 110,000 restaurants have closed during the pandemic, thousands of those restaurants in South Carolina. By increasing the minimum wage to $15 an hour and eliminating tips for servers at restaurants, we will do uh, actually what I would consider an existential threat to those restaurants and frankly, and more importantly, to those employees of restaurants.